The game's leadership was an example of more steady, carefully planned style of narrative that culminated in WrestleMania 39. But did the public ever truly witness the Cerebral Assassin's artistic vision? There is a strong argument that they did not and given the most recent changes to the WWE's power structure, they will never do so. When Triple H took over creative direction of WWE last summer, SummerSlam 2022 was seen by many fans as his rise to power. He planned a show that featured Bayley's comeback, the debut of Damage Control, and an exciting main event last man standing match between Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Now yes, under Triple H's direction a number of compelling plotlines and situations were realized. However, the majority of the important elements were already in place when he took charge such as the Bloodline and Sami Zayn's bizarre alliance, Cody Rose's rise, and the conflict between Rey and Dominic Mysterio. There is grounds to believe that WrestleMania may have signaled the conclusion of Vince McMahon's creative reign. After that, Triple H would dominate with control. Then news broke of Endeavor's acquisition of WWE spread, regaining more of McMahon's direct control over the product creative direction. Rumors that McMahon had aggressively rebooked portions of the program, including making adjustments during the live broadcast, were rifts following the Raw after WrestleMania. Monday Raw after WrestleMania seemed to confirm that Triple H will continue to be subjected to Mr. McMahon's infamous micromanagement. If the Raw after WrestleMania's outcome is any indication, it might be some time before fans witness Triple H's vision of WWE in its purest form. Drop your comments below. Until the next video, I'll see you again.